Hello everybody, so climbing up uh, this beautiful snow slope on the way to Mount Yunam, 6110 meters in Lahol, Himachal Pradesh. So to keep getting such awesome views and to know more about this hike, stay tuned. Yeah, so the timer has started guys, it is uh, 5.30 am and we are heading towards uh, Yunam Peak from the Bharatpur Tent Colony here in Lahol, Himachal Pradesh. Two individuals, yeah, hitting the scree slopes right away. And this hike starts from uh, 4700 meters, guys. And we need to go till 6100 meters, that is some 21,000 feet. This is Pratap's uh, first 6000 meter. Yeah. I mean, we are not, not breathing hard, but hard because I can hear the sound. <laughs> nice, so slow and steady it is. Yeah, slow and steady. Yeah, keep going. So that's the Mount Yunam Peak 6110, visible from the base camp. 6.45 am and we are here at the base camp in 1 hour 15 minutes. Uh, surprisingly, there is nobody here at the base camp. On 18th of August, otherwise we would have... Uh oh. Uh oh. Good morning. Uh, nice sunrise. But just vomited. <laughs> I think the dal chawal yesterday was uh, still in my stomach. I thought it was cleared, but it was there. And still feeling kind of headache throughout the night. A bit. Um, first time maybe sleeping at high altitude and uh, climbing first time Mount Yunam 6000 meter late headache but after the vomit I feel empty stomach feel good <laughs> yeah ready to go just a couple of snickers and to the peak <laughs> so I've been working from home in Manali and uh, training and running around some 4500 meter peaks every week body and training is good but food I was unable to manage the time like unable to eat on time so getting this acidity and gastric problem and like it's just I'm eating tablets here last two weeks I didn't eat tablets last two days uh, after coming here I'm feeling good, good but this vomiting is coming suddenly yeah I, th I think I need to learn so many so many things first time to high altitude now I'll have a nice uh, and thick aloo paratha sitting here at the base camp because you have to have to eat and as you keep hiking to high altitude guys you'll always feel that you don't feel like eating your taste buds they don't work really well you feel like eating something which is very very tasty maybe soup or uh, maggi but i would always say that again eat something which will give you a good amount of energy so that you can climb up these uh, slopes at because anything above 5000 meters is going to take a toll on your body you'll start feeling that thing you'll you'll hear your own heart beat that's an amazing experience to have i'm a little worried about pratap now Now the trail to Mount Yunam is basically a whole big slope full of scree and loose rocks and uh, nothing much. We're at 5400 meters, slowly nicely approaching to the peak. Uh, now guys, Yunam is a water scarce trail, so I would always suggest that you carry a small water bottle with you. With, uh, which you can fit in at these small pockets in between rocks and then you can fill your bottle quickly and we can see the beautiful glaciers and you can actually understand why this snow is not melting because this glacier is actually northeast facing and therefore it doesn't receive good amount of sun and uh, hence there is still snow here Keep coming, man. Nice. We've now touched 
5900 meters guys more 200 meters to go the time is 10 10 a.m. yeah so Pratap is actually having a hard time because the uh, his stomach is upset <laughs> so he need to put double the effort at uh, 6000 meters but yeah he's uh, pretty strong mentally to still keep going up to the peak you can see the beautiful cornice of Yunam you can even see a lake and yeah 11.05 we made it to the peak yeah. nicely done man this guy is really pushed himself hard <laughs> nicely done no problem Woo, feels like top of the world guys at uh, 6100 and yeah make sure that uh, on this side of Yunam there is a big big cornice so you do not uh, step in front otherwise you'll just fall straight down please don't go ahead here ah, beautiful and I think it is super windy here super cold and it's time to get down yeah so our uh, total cumulative time is 5 hour 35 minutes and the time right now the distance is just 5.22 kilometers guys yeah now we have uh, started our descent at 11.15 am and we'll quickly go down because anyhow we have to go through the same way now the Yunam peak is actually connected to another peak known as PT6000 through a ridge so here is this peak and if you look carefully you'll see a small little lake this is the Yunam So and there's another lake here this is known as the Sarchu Tal and these two lakes are the ones that I had documented in the Great Lakes of Lahore episode number one we ended our hike here in the town of uh, Killing Sarai and the Paratpur tent colony is right behind this ridge right now and uh, you can though still see the road the Leman Ali highway and this is also the Yunam base camp you can see a number of peaks from this hike at least some uh, 40 to 50 peaks that are very far distance this area is again the Baralachala to Chandratal trail and these are the uh, Peen Parvati national park peaks amazing glaciers and views all along yeah and we have descended quite a distance but yeah we are sitting and enjoying the view as much as we can because of this beautiful clear weather day last lot of snow let's do some skiing <laughs> and like I'm feeling good that I'm able to do a 6000 meter peak before two months for me this was impossible so I think the mentality and the preparation every day you run 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 and then the, mind, the mindset will be like that until you see the peak you don't come back for me it was like that I know I'm not going to die it was, it was literally hard but uh, after seeing the peak from the base itself I know I'll be like uh, okay I can back home somehow so that's why I pushed otherwise he was, if I was feeling super very bad I would have returned back yeah yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. 1.35 uh, pm we are back at the base quickly go down finally we saw the very first person coming up most probably they'll camp here make them move to the summit tomorrow hello, hello. hi you're alone yeah actually we are three people no okay 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 uh, our guys met with an accident what happened actually twisted his knee oh See. fuck on the trail on the trail yeah so you need help to no, bring no, he... 
went back to Bharatpur. Okay. And another guy is climbing up. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Take care, man. He twisted his knee so bad that he couldn't cross the stream. I always see that in the itinerary, people start from that point and they cross this river, and uh, they're also. That's also a point where most of the accidents happen. So there is a very simple way. Actually, you can come from this side. You can avoid the river at all costs. And then uh, you can see the road here. In the morning, we came from this side only. So there is actually no need to cross the river when you come for Mount Yunam. So it's 2:35 p.m. and that's a touchdown road. Yeah, so see the hike is just uh, 10.3 kilometers. The time which is uh, displayed here, 7 hour 22 is the moving time. Uh, otherwise, the total time that took us to go and come back is 9 hours. That is some 5.5 hours up and some 3.5 hours down. Then for the day now, we came here on a bike from Manali. So we'll uh, quickly just uh, drink something and head back to Manali. Hi man, are you okay now? Yeah, Bridju's cool. friend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? I'm not sure. Is right. it whether it is if I touch it is when a penny? No, no, no. Then okay. Like there's a big rock. I I don't realize that it could be a loose rock. Mm. So I stepped on it mm. and I slipped. Mm. And, the and rock, then it hit you rock on hit the back. Fuck. Back. At least you are safe yeah. not like <laughs> so this was all from uh, this beautiful quick hike to mount yunam in lahol himachal pradesh and i hope that this video will help you acknowledge the importance of acclimatization whenever we hike above 4000 meters in the indian himalayas and i also wish that everybody will be much more careful in uh, regards to ankle twists and knee injuries especially when you go to these slopes which are completely made out of loose rock and scree and where there are big boulder fields this is all i had if you have any queries then do reach out to me in the comment section below and i promise you a prompt reply if you're liking what you're watching then please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an update from Kridas. thank you so much for all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one